Hey everybody, Hannah Davis of Body by Hannah here with a kettlebell workout for you today. Kettlebells are popping up in gyms all over the country, but the problem is a lot of people don't know how to use them. So I'm here today with four awesome kettlebell moves to help you burn calories and tone up. Let's get started. Okay, so I have with me a 15 pound kettlebell. You can choose a 10 if this is your very first time, uh, but be sure to move up to 15, 20, and even 25. Don't be scared. Uh, as long as you feel comfortable with the 10, you're ready to, to move up and continue doing so. We're gonna start with the very basic kettlebell swing move. Um, I'm gonna take the kettlebell, place it in between my legs here, and Swing it forward. Now, the technique to doing this is to really make sure that the movement comes from the hips. It's not a squat. I'm not squatting. I'm almost doing what's called a deadlift, where the hips hinge back and then I pop it forward. Pop. This move trains your entire posterior chain. So your back is really gonna get toned up, your core is gonna get really strong, your glutes and your hamstring. Also gonna get your heart rate up. That's the kettlebell swing. Okay, so this next move is called a windmill. This also works your entire body, your legs, your core, and your shoulders. Um, you wanna actually use a lighter kettlebell for this. A 10 pound is probably more than enough, even a five, because the kettlebell is gonna go straight up. I'm gonna spread the feet apart in a nice wide parallel stance. I'll keep my right leg parallel, but I'm gonna turn the left one out perpendicular. Then I'm gonna bend over, bending that left leg until my fingertips touch the ground in a little windmill position. Very important to keep the arm straight up towards the ceiling. Otherwise, you're gonna end up falling over <laughs> and we don't want that. So this is your windmill position. If it's too hard for you to keep the kettlebell up high, then you can just switch that around. No weight for the hand, but let's add it for the leg, because that's really gonna tone up that inner thigh. And that's your second kettlebell move. Okay, so this next move is a kettlebell clean and press. It's, it takes a little getting used to, uh, but once you nail it, it's an awesome exercise to really burn a lot of calories. It uses your whole body and your heart rate is gonna skyrocket. So I'm gonna start with a basic squat movement, pull it up into a row, but catch it and then press it up. Putting it all together, it looks like this. Squat, pull it up, squat and press. So there's a double squat there. Squat, pull it up, squat, press. One more time. Awesome, just keep practicing that until you get a hang of it, because it's an awesome, awesome move. Okay, so the final move I'm gonna share with you today is a single-legged deadlift with a row. So we're gonna really work our legs again, our core, and our back. Isn't it amazing how a kettlebell can work everything all at the same time? So I'm gonna lift my right leg up. I'll have the kettlebell in my right hand as well. I'm gonna lunge forward into a single leg deadlift, and then row the kettlebell back and come up. I'm gonna repeat this for about 10 reps on each side. Really tough here, so if you really still struggle with balance, just step back, keep that toe down, and row. Once I've done it on that side, I'm gonna repeat the move on the other side. And that is your kettlebell tutorial. For more of these kettlebell moves, visit my website at bodybyhanna.com and for more fitness tips, check out cosmopolitan.com.